It's game day morning in the desert, and Patrice Bergeron and the Bruins convene for breakfast in their hotel. Why is he sitting here, huh? There's crumbs and muffins everywhere. Finland, U.S. and Canada? They're in the same pool or what? Yeah, I think you said for Finland today. Afterwards, the team heads back to their opponent's arena for a film review in the visiting locker room. The one thing we're going to need tonight is we're going to need speed on our breakout. So make sure they're going to push, expect to push up the ice at points. So we've got to hustle everybody back. We want to make sure that we're all coming together so we get speed in our breakout. If we've got speed, we'll get to the puck first. Expect pressure tonight. We want to beat the pressure. So make sure we use the speed to beat it on the breakouts. And when we get in initially, I'll number them and be prepared to spread them out. Once we get them stopped, we're good. But we've got to get to that point. With the message imparted, Bergeron and his teammates head to the ice for the morning skate, a chance to further acclimate themselves with the ring. You find the ice a little better than yesterday? Yeah. I think so, too. Uh, Hansel's out. He's a lefty anyways. Uh, our schedule isn't getting any easier uh, from here on in. As you know, we're going to be on the road a lot more. We're going to have some challenging games here, so we can look at the last two months and, and see how good we've been, or we can look ahead at these next two months and, and see how challenging it is instead of looking back. So we need to look forward here and then take that challenge that's ahead of us. If many hockey players seem to collect superstitions, Bergeron claims he's not among them. I don't have any superstitions, but I do have some, uh, uh, I guess, routines. Before games, I always do the same thing. I always take three sticks in front of my stall, making the same tape job every time. I always put some thin black tape on my blade and white for my knob on, on top of my stick. I'll put my water at the same spot all the time. Always in line on the right side of my stall. It's been the same thing since uh, uh, midget, you know, since I've been 16 years old. For Bergeron and his line mates, the routines commence. Colors donned that further confirmed their singular purpose maintain the momentum they've worked to build over the past two months. This is not a game I would recommend that we look to be fancy more than we need to be effective here. It's a road game. This is a team we're playing tonight that's a point out of the playoff spot right now, so this means a lot to them. If we got everybody going, we got a chance of winning this hockey game here. With many Bruins fans among them, Bergeron takes the game's opening faceoff. Before his line gives way to the first shift change of the night. Where are you guys are going to go here when they, uh, for the faceoff, eight? Eh? All three of you guys. Not ice here, eh, guys? So make sure we handle up puck. Got to do it quick, and it's there. David Krejci, a wrist shot, and he scores. The Bruins on the board first. That's it, boys. Let's go. Where is she? Hey, these are sneaking right by us. Behind you. Twice. Let's get it in here, guys. Good try, good try. My bad. We're not liking the physical game, boys. Keep playing them hard. I was just coming slowly. I tried to get it, and uh, the other guy pulled checked me. I think it comes like this. Yeah, I go all across. Mark, you scared the back. Yeah. It's a set breakout. We want you going. I know. Yeah. yeah. But now the middle's wide open. Change here. Good job. Whitney 
coming down the middle, split the defensive score. Let's go, you two. Stay with it. Stay with it. Next shift's yours. Let's go. The third period of Bruins Coyotes starts with the score tied 1-1 and Patrice Bergeron energizing his teammates every chance he can get. Come on, Zing, man. Let's go, bud. First and puck everywhere, everywhere. Let's go. Let's go, bro. First and puck. Let's go, eh? First and puck everywhere, everywhere. Third D's coming out, our forward. And then our forward's going that way. We can get the puck every time. Sonny! While Bergeron regroups, the Coyotes' Rafi Torres skates off the ice with a painful-looking reminder of what the game can bring. When the clock starts ticking down, the Bruins look to take every shot they can. Throw everything at the net, boys. Start throwing everything at the net here. With three periods complete and the score tied, the Bruins now must head to extra time to get what they came for. I think a loss would be, uh, you know, it'd be pretty tough for our team. We've had a, a good role here lately. The important part for our team is playing a full 60. Um, we've done a good job at it the last few games, and that's uh, what we want to do. Uh, we approach every game uh, and to win it. Every night's going to be a tough night, but we've got to make sure we go out there and we, uh, we expect uh, uh, to come out with, with a win. sluggishness or the sloppiness or whatever word you want to put in there for it. I mean, it's it's been that way for the Bruins here today. They've been off. And now Rich Johnson to Seidenberg and he scores! Yeah. It rolls through the Barbara. Dennis Seidenberg will get the overtime game winner. Team together on the road and things are going well. Um, the next day's a better day, obviously, for you. Great job, too. Say a second one. The 2 1 win is the Bruins' seventh in a row. A less than perfect showing, but one the team is happy to take. Good, good job tonight. I thought we did a, did a hell of a job in the third period. We came back and we got better as the game went on. Obviously, had some uh, neutral zone issues there, but I thought we uh, handled those a lot better in the third period. So uh, we played to win and it showed uh, we were a much better team. So. Great depth, you know, uh, throughout uh, the whole lineup. It's been helping us a lot, you know. Uh, Every line is picking up, uh, is picking up on uh, one another and uh, helping uh, other lines out. And if it's it's not us one 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 night, it's going to be another line. It's been that's been huge for us. It's been helping us a lot, and um, you know can't say enough about that. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate Thank you. For Patrice Bergeron and the Boston Bruins, the season is not yet even half complete. Tonight, number 37 is only too happy to oblige fans who've made their own trip to Phoenix to watch him. And then head into the desert night with his teammates off to their next stop. A 
Another 36 hours in a long season have concluded triumphantly. So many more await.